Hey guys, so this is another update video. This time it's for Martina. And you know that lately I haven't been doing update videos, but that's because I haven't gotten really nice footage for you guys. But this time it changes. We got the footage, guys. <laughs> for sure, because after after so long finally we can actually get an update video a nice update video this time around so uh, i mean on the last summit i was like just minding my business and then i saw this this changed everything i was like oh my god i really need to get this footage somehow because in summit you know you're not able to see recordings of fights and things like that but this result i mean i have to get the footage somehow so I messaged the player and uh, and I told them, hey, I really wish I had this footage. Uh, to, I, I really wish I, I'm, I didn't say it like that. I was like, uh, I really wish I could see this fight. I mean, Mar with Martina, that, that is amazing. And he was like, oh, I underestimated the guy and things like that. Cause he actually lost the fight, but this much damage, I don't care. I simply want to say it. And I was like, okay, m maybe, but I really need to see this footage and things like that. And without me asking, he went straight to Arena and he attacked me. So with with his Martina. So now we can actually see the power of Martina when you actually use her like this. So uh, I'm not going to reveal his, um, uh, his, uh, his name or anything like that. Because uh, I really don't know if he wants to be named or not. But anyhow, you know who you are. Thank you very much for this footage. And check it out, guys. So check in the actual end when Martina gets uh, the surge. The actual crit damage that she does to the entire freaking team. That's her plus one. Is not even funny, guys. It's so powerful. I mean, yeah, like a heart attack. Uh, check it out. Yeah, guys, that slash is no joke, guys. I mean, that plus one for her, this plus one is so freaking powerful. Is yeah, because this plus three is gonna make her in, in, uh, immortal, and this one is going to actually do extra damage and things like that. But but once well, not exactly extra damage, she's actually recovering uh, max um, life in this situation. Recovers 10% of max HP. So in other words, she's gaining healing, and this is no longer dispellable. But this plus one is no joke, guys. It does so much damage. Oh, in other words, Surge comes in. She activates that. Everybody gets freaking crit because her weapon gets 60% crit, crit chance. And Red already has with the Residence a high amount of crit chance. So she is going... 70% is the sweet spot for crit chance, by the way, guys. So with just with her weapon, 
and the resonance for reds is gonna do a lot of damage like yeah it, it's not even funny guys especially if there's a lot of targets and and the team that you saw there you didn't have to actually pair her with anybody it's just her so that is a really big uh red flag showing that this is a good hero for uh, in that situation for sure anybody that could do this amount amount of damage you have to take her to account for sure however when i did fight her on on defense i to be honest i i found a few guys that had her on defense but they didn't have her really high level they didn't give her really good weapons her own weapon would have been freaking amazing but on defense, you really need to, to be able to target a single target. So I haven't found anybody that uses use Martina and Malfour at the same time. I would love to get uh, some footage of that specifically. But sadly, we haven't gotten it in that situation. So in this situation, you and I'm, I'm convinced that you need to get her at plus one. If you decide to get her, you got to get her at plus one for sure. This plus one makes her do so much damage, and she's a fast hero. She's going to hit the third time for sure. It is not even funny. If you get her weapon, she's going to do crazy amounts of damage there in that situation. So, uh, last verdict for now. <laughs> I mean, I, I still haven't seen her on defense. For now, is she a must-have hero? Ah. Uh, now that decision has become a lot more difficult, so I would say that she's still not a must-have hero because I haven't seen her on defense. If she becomes a monster on defense, I uh, yeah, I, she's she's gonna be bumped to to must-have. But for now, I'm just gonna leave her as as not a must-have for for now, guys, for sure. And I'm still saving. I'm still saving my summons for when actual summons get better. Cause uh yeah, now that I've seen her. <laughs> um, I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted to to summon her, uh, but I have to be strong. I have to be strong. I mean, yeah, I need to get those rates. I don't want to you know, summon a lot and, and lose all my stuff. So for now, I'm going to take a breath and say my summons for the best summons on July, guys. That that's my plan. But if you decide to go for Martina. And red is your most stronger color, which probably it is at this point. Between purple and red, that's the most resonance most people are going to have right now. Uh, she's not going to be a waste. Do get her at least at plus one. This plus one, that plus one really changes her so much, guys, for sure. Uh, so for now, I do recommend to get her, but she's not a must-have just yet, just yet. All right, guys, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.